what's going on guys I sure am glad to have these t-posts and this fence here boy I tell you what that sure is a nice gate over there too now it's actually a gate for a dog kennel uh, I like the fact that it's got the big section that I could open up for my tractor to get through but it's got a little smaller door section so when I got my granddaughter here and other little kids that I could just open up the little small gate and they can go in there and play with the goats Speaking of goats, boy, I'm excited. We got goats coming to the homestead here soon. It's actually going to be the first animals on the property, except for old Poppy there. Um, long time coming, long time coming. It took me a little over a year. But uh, we're going to get some of this infrastructure up and uh, try to get a good pen where they don't escape. I can hear my neighbor over there in a the distance with a pressure washer. It's the only neighbor I got. He's got 15 acres right next to me there. Uh, he's pretty good distance, but that noise likes to travel on through these swamps here. But yeah, pretty excited about it. I'll tell you what, though, I did catch myself. You know, the thing about it is, is if you if you don't bleed on the job, then you know what, it really wasn't a job. Now, come on, I always seem to cut myself, nick myself, something, you know. You know, got a little bit of blood all over this property, I tell you what. Mm-hmm. We're just going to add that as nutrients. Mm-hmm. But, yep, sure I'm excited to get it. I tell you what, prices are pretty high everywhere on everything right now, but this wasn't too bad. I got the six and a half foot T-post, and uh, I think I paid $4 and about 59 cents a piece. Plus, you know, Uncle Sam's got to get his part, you know. You know, speaking of Uncle Sam, I think he's been around long enough. I think there needs to be a new uncle. Old uncle David works just fine for me. Come on. But went ahead and got a... Uh, I think each one of these rolls right here has got a uh, 330 I believe feet of uh, sheep and goat wire pretty excited about that I got two of them so that's about 700 feet that right there would get me started that at least get the uh, one of the one of the areas made we're gonna fence in all kinds of areas around here but but it's a start I figure about 700 feet of fencing should be able to keep a couple goats in I don't know how many I'm going to get yet. Old boy down the road, his sister's got a bunch of goats, and she's wanting to get out the goat business. So I told him I'd be interested, so I still got to go down there and talk to her. But uh, it's pretty much a done deal that I'm going to get quite a few of her goats. And uh, let them goats go ahead and do a little bit of work out here. Boy, I tell you what, it is thick out here. And why use the back when you can use the goats? Boy, and I, I like goats. You know, they, I like watching them play around and you know they always got quite the personality you never know what you're gonna get pretty excited about it though pretty excited about it well it's only you know Monday I believe right now so I won't be able to actually get started on this until the weekend if the weather holds off hopefully so it's calling for rain all weekend so we'll see we'll see I'm ready to get started though I'm definitely ready to get started Sure would like to, you know, put a lot more fence posts in the ground, but they're so expensive right now. I tell you what, I'm a, it's going to be more T posts than fence posts. But uh, once the wood prices uh, drop down, I'll pull some of these T posts out and uh, put a couple more fence posts in. I got a couple laying around here, and uh, I'll be using them. But uh, till then, I tell you what, you you just can't afford to buy lumber right now. It is just ridiculous, just ridiculous. Here comes Poppy, wide open, wide open. Boom. Poppy, come here. Come on. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Come on. Come on. She ain't having it. She ain't having it. This old metal scares her. Well, me and Poppy appreciate y'all stopping by for another Talk About It Tuesday. We sure are looking forward to the goats getting here. Sure are. But uh, we got a lot of work ahead of us before we get there, and I can't wait to take you guys along with me on this uh, first infrastructure build on the old homestead here. And Maybe I can share a couple of tricks and tips along the way that can help you out on your journey. And maybe you could share in the comments a, a couple of tricks and tips for myself. I'm always willing to learn something new, and there's always a better way than the way that I do it, I'm sure. But until we get to see each other again, come on! Let's go homestead.